Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add your Facebook covers in Photoshop. So once you unzip the files, you will see all the PSD files. These are the, all the Photoshop files. These are editable files in Photoshop in different colors. So you can see 01, all of these are um, for the first uh, design, different colors, then the second design, different colors, and so on. So for this example, I'm going to do this one. So just double click it and it will open in Photoshop. You can see it's open right now. And you can see um, on the right there are layers. And we're going to change the text. So in order to change the text, uh, all you have to do is just press T on your keyboard or select the horizontal type tool right here. And just select, just double click the layer and you can type whatever you want. For example, linked in marketer. You can also change the color, just uh, double click, you can change it to red if you want, all right? So it's it's up to you what you want to do. Once it's done, just click OK right here or just, or just click the move tool. And you can then uh, press the T on your keyboard to change this one. For example, I'll change to my name. And uh, you can also make it bigger or smaller. You can make it bolder. Here we can change the. You can also change the font, right? To to a different font. Let's do, for example, this one and make it a bit smaller. All right. And uh, the same thing here. You can uh, you can uh, you can change the quote the quote here. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, just um, select the T, the type tool, click and click it. Here, for example, we can change it to a free video. If you if you give away a free video, you can you can change the color of it. Just select it, click the color, and make it make it just different color, right? Maybe blue. You can also go here. That's uh that will give you additional functions, and you can make it underscore, and all the other stuff we can do. So now you can see it's uh, nicely clickable. Now how to change the e-cover. So if you go click right click on the e-cover, make sure you have the uh, move tool selected. Then you right click on the e-cover, select e-cover layer. You can see it's selected right here. And uh, let's remove it. And let's put our, our own e-cover. So just to show you how it works. So once you change the C-cover to your text, uh, all you have to do is just uh, drag it to Photoshop or just go to File Open and it's the same thing. But then you can drag drag it to this, uh, to this project. In order to make it smaller, just press Ctrl T on your keyboard or Command T and uh, with Shift, make sure you have Shift selected to make it proportionally scaled, just move it down. I'll make it a bit bigger, so something like that, so it's similar to what it was before. If you scale uh, the e-cover from the very big one to the smaller, you can see that the quality is decreased. Notice it's a bit blurred. So what I do in this case, go to the filter, sharpen, sharpen, then go to the edit, face sharpen, Uh, to make the sharpened uh, not that much because you can see with 100% of the sharpening it's a bit too much so I prefer to make it more balanced so I go about 50% to make it nice sharp but not too much and that's pretty much it uh, one more thing I'll remove the thumb this is just um, to make sure that you don't have any design here because here the Facebook is going to place the profile image so just uh, click on the I icon right here to, to make it disappear. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Once it's done, make sure to save it. So it's saved for the future. Just save it as a new file. I'll save it as a new file. Uh, for example, that it's my design. And then go to the file, save for web. I would save it as a JPEG. So it's um it doesn't weigh that much, but I will go with the 80% quality, so it's still very sharp and clear. Then go to the save, and I will just, just save it to my folder. 
and then you can see it right here you can see it's done now you can just upload it on, on Facebook and you can use it however you want uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon